we will after. <laughs> Hello, my name is Intern Jesse, and I'll be Hi. performing a series <laughs> of upper extremity things today. Okay. So the first thing I would like to do is do a postural assessment. Uh, so if you could please stand up, I am going to evaluate your body from a lateral posture. So the first thing I'm looking for is asymmetry, and I'm looking from the EAM down to the SC to lateral epicondyle. Uh, I do see a little bit of forward head translation, and that should be all. Nothing too uh, serious there. Um, so next we're going to go ahead and do from a posterior view. Posteriorly, I am looking at the supraspinatus here. I'm looking at the medial scapula and the AC joint. I'm also looking to see if any of the shoulders are um, are superior. I do think the left side is a little bit superior, if you can see there. Um, and um, I'm also looking for scapular winging. Uh, scapular winging could be from rhomboid engagement. Um, do see a little bit on this side, but not from the same hit. Um, this would be the supraspinatus. Here's the medial support of the scapula. And um, there's the AC joints. Okay, so the next, uh, oh, next I'm gonna look at you from the anterior posture. Um, looking at the glabella nose chin here. I'm gonna have to block the camera. Um, I do not see any uh, head deviation or rotation um, on this patient. Uh, so next we're gonna do a series of tests. The first is gonna be the apprehension test. Um, so I would go, like you to go ahead and sit on the table here. I am gonna, and then would you go ahead and extend your arm back and externally rotate. And I'm just gonna apply pressure on the back of this joint and I'm testing for glenaral humeral instability. Does that hurt? No. I would do this test bilaterally. Does that hurt? No. Awesome. Next, I'm gonna do Joe's test. Uh, or actually, we'll just do um, the abduction test uh, here as well. Um, so go ahead and abduct your arms all the way up for me up top. Normal degrees of motion is 180 all the way to the top. She has extended because she is splendid. And uh, scapular humeral rhythm includes a 120 to 80 degrees. 120 degrees being from the humerus up and uh, 80 degrees being from the scapula. If there is pain in the middle arc, uh, that could be a sign of impingement syndrome on the patient. Um, next, we're gonna do the Job's test. So go ahead and put your arms all the way out. Put the thumb up for me. And just go ahead and press up against my arms as I push down. Any pain there? No. Awesome. Um, there we are looking for ex expert exacerbation of the nerve. Um, for the final test, we're going to do Jurgensen's test. Uh, we'll probably have to come back to it. I can't remember. Um, okay, so next we're going down to the elbow. First, I'm going to inspect the elbow. So when I inspect the elbow, I'm looking at the medial epicondyle here, and I'm looking for pain, any deformities or asymmetry, and then I'm looking at the lateral epicondyle. And while I'm there, I'm also going to look at the radial head here, which should be in the pocket. And any pain there? Yeah. Awesome. I'm seeing full range of motion. I'm now going to inspect the lateral side, the other side. I'm feeling first for the medial epicondyle here. And I am also feeling for the radial head now, which should be in the little pocket here. There we go. Any pain? Mm -hmm. There is pain there? You're pinching something there. Oh, oh that would be the radial nerve. And I am also uh, on the lateral epicondyle here as well. Um, I'm looking for asymmetry. Next, now we're going to do a series of tests. Um, the first test being the valgus test. I'm going to go ahead and grip the patient here and here. And uh, why don't you stand up for me? And go ahead and resist my arm, uh, pushing, uh, push, try to push inward. Any pain? No. And try to push outward. Any pain? Awesome. We're going to do the same over here. Try to push outward. Any pain? Oh, wait, outward? Like, here, rotate your hand in the left arm. Okay, now rotate outward. No. Or uh, inward. Any pain? No. Awesome. Which way? Which is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next, for the next series of tests, we are going to do the. Oh, we're going to do the pronation test. So we're just going to pronate. So why don't you go ahead and come up here. I, uh, as I'm asking the patient to hold up, 
and go ahead and make a fist please for me. And while I hold on to the lateral epicondyle, I'm going to ask her to rotate inward. Try to rotate inward. Other way? No, with your with your hand. With my hand? Yeah, with your hand. Ro rotate inward. Try to do that. Any pain there? No. That's testing for tennis elbow, and now we're going to do the medial side. I'm just going to go ahead and ask you to kind of flex, and I'm going to extend your arm. Any pain there? Yes. Oh, there is pain? You're pinching something. Okay, that uh, would also be the radio nerve. If there was pain, it also could be a sign of golfer's elbow. Okay, moving on to the wrist and hand. Uh, for the wrist and hand, we're, first we're always going to uh, inspect the palpate here, looking for any deformities or asymmetry. Don't see anything there. Also looking for some deformities and asymmetry. Don't see anything there. Um, before we do that, though, I actually want to touch real quick on the carrying angle. So go ahead and stand up. Stand in an anatomical position for me. And let your, just kind of let your car spin to the side. Carrying angle is this angle here. Normal is 10 to 15 degrees. Uh, sometimes the uh, women can have a larger carrying angle uh, that can be due uh, because of their wider anatomical um, hips. Uh, if the angle is decreased, it's usually decreased at the elbow level. Um, okay, so let's go back to this. Um, after, pal after palpating and checking the symmetry of both sides, uh, we are going to inspect the uh, scaphoid and pisiform. The pisiform is going to be the most proximal carpal, and uh, you can find it right here. Any pain? No. Awesome. And next we're going to find the, uh, oh, that's pisiform. Now we're, next we're going to find this uh, scaphoid, which is inside the anatomical snuff box right here. Uh, any pain? No. Awesome. And other side, here was the pisiform on the proximal carpal. Any pain? and the uh, scaphoid inside the anatomical stuff. Awesome. Okay, so for these series of tests, the first one we're going to do is going to be Phelan's test. So go ahead and bring your hands to fingertips and down. And we would hold this pose for about one minute, and we were looking for entrapment of the median nerve. Um, this would be due for the carpal tunnel, and this test could be an indication of that. The next test we're going to do is going to be Tinell's test. So go ahead and lift your palm up for me. Look, come in here and try to exacerbate the nerve through the carpal tunnel, the median nerve. Any pain there? No. We will do it bilaterally. Once again, try to exacerbate some nerve pain through the carpal tunnel of the median nerve. Any pain? No. Um, okay, so for the last test, we are going to do. We're going to do the handshake test, which uh, includes shaking that patient's hand and pinching towards ulnar deviation on the scaphoid, trying to see if there's a broken scaphoid. Any pain? No. Awesome. And any pain um, here for ulnar deviation? Wow, a lot of range of motion here. Any no. pain though? No. Awesome. Okay, so next we're going to talk about range of motion for pronation and supination. So go ahead and stand up for me. And bring your arms here like this. Uh, normal range of motion should be about 90 degrees on, uh, uh, or it should be 90 degrees for supination, and for pronation should be about 90 degrees. So awesome, um, no problems there, and I see uh, symmetry on both sides. Um, that concludes our test today. Thank you for your time.